Hello everyone and welcome to this one dumbbell chest workout to build muscle and strength in your chest with just one dumbbell. I've got my eight kilogram, comment underneath which weight you're using and if you had a great workout. Let's get into it. Right, let's start the warm up with big arms going backwards. So we have a few minutes warming up the upper body, the joints, the muscles before we start lifting. So take your time, start connecting to your breath. Take big circles in those shoulders. And we'll do the same with now moving the arms forwards as well. Nice and slowly, start warming up, getting mobility into the shoulder joints. Ten more seconds. Okay, come down onto the ground into a cat and cow. So starting from an all fours position, tuck your chin under, pull your belly in and up. Big arch in the back and then keep breathing, drop the belly, elevate the chest and continue in these two positions nice and slowly. Moving with your breath through the spine. And then from here, come back to neutral position and reach one arm through under the body, drop the shoulder, reach through, stretch, and then lift up and rotate. Reach the fingers up nice and high, and then drop back down and reach through. Stay on the same side, 30 seconds, and get that rotation through the torso, through the spine, whilst activating the shoulders And the same on the other side. Come back to all fours and then reach through other side. Working on that rotation and also opening up the chest and the shoulders that we're about to work. Okay, final 30 seconds, come into a high plank position. So hands underneath the shoulders, lift up off the floor, pull your belly in, spread your fingers and push away from the floor. Lock out your arms, round your upper back slightly. This is the last bit of activation, warming up into these muscle groups before we begin. Okay, well done. Rest there. I'm going to change the timer. We're now moving into the first section, which is 40 seconds on each exercise alternating side. So the first exercise, we're going to take our dumbbell and take it into a chest press. Single arm chest press. So lay on your back, holding onto that dumbbell. We're going to go for a single arm chest press, dropping the elbow down to the ground, lifting up and squeezing. Okay, so get ready for your first set in three. Two, one, here we go. Single arm chest press. Slowly down, start to stretch the chest, lift up and as the elbow comes in, squeeze the pec and release. If you do have a workout bench at home or you're doing this at the gym or anywhere else, then you can use the workout bench to get further range of motion dropping your arm lower than your body to stretch the chest. But if you're just on the floor with me, then that's fine as well. As soon as this 40 seconds is done, we're not gonna rest. We're just gonna switch straight over to the other arm. Okay, when you're ready, switch hands safely. If it's too heavy, then drop it onto the floor and switch arms. 
otherwise pass it over and carry on. Same thing, other side. Allow a natural path for your shoulders, for your elbow. This isn't directly out to the side, but it can be out at a slight angle, whatever's comfortable for you. And get that mind to muscle connection in the chest. As you lift up, squeeze the elbow in and hands up high and focus on those muscle groups being used. Okay, switch back to the first arm, no rest, carry on. Let's go for three sets. Don't stop. Because one arm is resting whilst the other one is working. So we don't want to waste any time. We want to have the most efficient workout in the time that we have here to get the best muscle pump and strengthening workout. Okay, switch over to the other arm again. Carry on. Even if you find with the dumbbell that you have now, if it's too light and easy, don't worry. The workout is gonna get more intense the further along we go. Softly touch that elbow and back of the arm on the floor if you're doing a floor press with me. And final set, back to the first arm for the third and final set, carry on. And now these muscles are activated and warmed up. Get that good mind to muscle connection and squeeze the pec at the top. Almost there. Straight over to the other side for the final time. Off you go. So after this 40 seconds, we're gonna go straight into the next exercise in the same position. In the first arm, we're going into a chest fly with no rest. Gonna go into the other arm and work on that fly exercise. And we're gonna carry on the same structure that we've been going on for this first exercise. So switch arm. Single arm chest fly, soften this elbow, bend it slightly, open up the chest, touch the elbow on the floor, squeeze it up to middle. Repeat, same arm, 40 seconds. If the weight is too heavy, just come to halfway and squeeze it in. The range is up to you. If you can get all the way to the floor, then that's better. But don't push it there if the weight is too heavy and it hurts your shoulders. We want to get that stretch, lengthening in the chest, then use those muscles to lift back up to the middle. Good, switch straight over to the other arm. Same thing, let's go. Core has to work quite hard here now as well. Now that we're taking the weight out to the side, Engage those abs, use your other hand to push into the floor.
Okay, switch arm to that first arm. That's one set out of three. Carry on. It's completely fine if you find that one arm is stronger than the other in any of these exercises. That is normal. I suggest you just stay consistent, keep working on these exercises, and you'll build your weaknesses up to your strengths. If you struggle with getting that mind to muscle connection, then you can use this free arm, because we're only using one, to touch the muscle groups you want to work, so the chest, and try to contract and squeeze. And switch. Here we go again. You're doing well. Get ready for the third set. Switch arm now. Third set. Chest fly. Last time. Here we go. And of course, we have other muscle groups working here as well. The shoulders are working, even the biceps are working, and that is fine, but keep focused on the chest. Keep going and get ready to switch arm now. Last time, final 40 seconds in this section, Make it good. Keep going, almost there. Stretch the chest, squeeze it up. And well done. Rest there. Okay, have a drink, have a quick rest. I'm going to change the timer to now 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest for the next section. So we're now going to go through 40 seconds of one exercise, then 20 seconds rest for a few different exercises, and then we'll repeat that circuit. So, exercise one take your dumbbell into a pullover. Lay on your back, hold on the outside of your dumbbell like this. Bend the elbows a little bit. We're gonna take the dumbbell behind us. Stretch behind our head and lift back up. Focus on the chest, the pecs working. We're also gonna be working our arms, triceps and back, but keep that focus in the chest. Get ready for 40 seconds. In three, two, one, let's go. Pull over. If you have a weight that's too heavy, then just come halfway and lift back up. Maintain control and safety. If you've got the strength with the dumbbell that you have to drop all the way towards or touch the floor softly, then great. And again, if you have a workout bench, then make sure you lay on it here and get a further range of motion to drop the dumbbell behind your head to stretch your chest. Make sure your abs are in, core engaged. Your lower back is fixed into the floor. Very common that the lower back arches up in this one. That's not what we want. Okay, take your 20 seconds rest now. We're gonna take it into the chest press. Same grip with your one dumbbell, hold onto the outside. We're gonna take it into a chest press with both arms here. Get ready after a short break. Let's go. 
chest press. Shoulders back and down, open up the chest. You can allow your elbows to tap the floor again, if you can get that range of motion, and then pushing it up. Again, focusing on that mind to muscle connection. As you lift at the top, elbows drive in and squeeze the chest. Again, the shoulders and arms are going to be working with the chest, of course. And rest there. Well done. Enjoy your 20 seconds rest and we're going to take it into a narrow grip or a close grip chest press. So now change up the grip, hold on. You can interlock your fingers like this and hold on to that one dumbbell. Now your hands are in the middle, elbows are a lot narrower. Drop it in towards your chest. Come all the way down if you can and lift up. Let's go. 40 more seconds. You can even focus on pushing your hands in towards each other at the same time to increase the tension. Keep going. Okay, well done. Rest there. That's three exercises. Let's now take a 60 second rest and we're going to repeat that mini circuit for three sets. And then we have a push up crazy finisher after that. Okay, get ready, 15 seconds. Of course, if you do have more than one dumbbell and they're different weights, then you can use different weights in this workout if you want. I'm just using my eight kilogram. Get ready, in three, two, one. Let's go, we are going back into our pullover. Focus again on that core strength, lower back fixed into the floor or the platform if you're on a bench. Drop that dumbbell back however far feels good to stretch through the spine in the chest and back. And 20 seconds rest. Well done, get ready for the chest press after this. The first chest press with your hands on the outside. Okay, let's go. Push up, slowly down, arms touch the floor, lift again. And rest, well done. Rest for 20 and get ready for the chest press with the narrow grip.
lift up, interlock the fingers, let's go. Keep the tension pushing inwards, fully extend, squeeze at the top, drop it in and touch your chest if you can. And rest there, well done. Okay, how are you getting on? Enjoy your next 60 seconds rest. Let's do it one more time. And then there's gonna be no resting after that. We're gonna push straight through for a really challenging finisher for the chest. Okay, get ready, 20 seconds before that pullover exercise. And hopefully this is reminding you or letting you know that there's no excuses. If you've got minimal equipment at home, just one dumbbell, you can still have a great workout. Get ready. In six, five, get ready for the pullover. In three, two, one, let's go. Last time in these three exercises, make it good. Think about stretching the chest, opening it up as you take that dumbbell back. Good, well done. 20 seconds rest before the two chest press exercises. Okay, hands on the outside. Drop the shoulders back into the floor and down, and here we go, chest press. Keep going right to the end. And rest for 20 seconds. So final time now in the close grip, chest press, and then we'll have our 20 seconds rest before the finisher. Okay, here we go. 40 seconds in the close grip press. You can even experiment with halfway pulses if you want, keeping the tension in the shoulders and the chest as you push inwards and up. If you find a part of the range most challenging and you need more challenge, and stay there a bit longer. And rest there, well done. 20 seconds rest before the push-up section. Now that all of those muscles are 
really warm and ready to go, we're gonna have um, four minutes, 30 seconds work, 30 seconds rest of a final push-up section. So one hand, one hand on the dumbbell, one hand on the floor for an uneven push-up. Okay, with one hand higher, we're gonna get a bigger stretch on that arm, on that chest, that's the real focus, but the other arm is working as well, okay? So 30 seconds work, 30 seconds rest. Are you ready? Choose one arm, doesn't matter which. In three, two, one. Here we go, uneven push-up. If you need to drop the knees on the floor at any point, either now or in the next four minutes, then do so and focus on keep going whenever you can. Three, two, one, and rest. 30 seconds rest, I'm gonna to switch to the other arm. We're taking as much rest as we are work, because I really want you in those 30 seconds to give it your best, make sure there's some energy rebuilt back up so you can have a really good set. That's one out of four. Now the other arm in 10 seconds. Your best push-ups in three, two, one. Here we go, stretch, lower, push, squeeze. Really stretch that side that's holding the dumbbell and drive that elbow in to fully extend. Three, two, one, and rest, well done. Okay, two out of four. The next one, we're gonna do both arms, alternate. So bring the dumbbell into the middle. We're gonna push up here. Step in, step out, one hand on the dumbbell, and repeat. So quite a lot of stepping in the middle, but that's all part of the work that's gonna fatigue the shoulders. 10 seconds. One hand on, one hand out to the side. Here we go, push up. Step in, step out, push up. Ten seconds, more push-ups. Well done, rest there, 30 seconds rest. Okay, final exercise of the day. We don't need the dumbbell, bring the dumbbell out just ahead of you, because we're gonna push up, standard push up, and then tap the dumbbell. So we're gonna leave the floor with one hand, so we're gonna really work that one arm. Just tap the dumbbell, and go into your next push up, and then alternate sides. 30 seconds, hit failure, and then push through. You got this, this is it now. Two, one, push up, tap, and again. As many push-ups as you can to finish. If you need to drop the knees onto the floor to keep going, then that's fine. Extra 10 seconds to now push it. This is everything. Finisher, extra 10 seconds. One more rep. And rest there, well done. I like to push you however much I can when you're not expecting it because that gives you the ability to push yourself to failure and then some. So no excuses. All right, let's take it into a stretch for the upper body. 
well done. Let's start with the lying torso stretch. Lay on your back, hug your knees in, open up your arms to a T, take your knees out to one side, palms facing upwards, drop the shoulder down, take nice deep breaths, and with every exhale, just relax into the floor. We are opening up the chest, the torso, the shoulders. Bring the knees up over to the other side, arms out, and see if you can get that shoulder onto the floor. This other hand can hold onto your knees if you like, just to ease them down to increase the stretch. Okay, let's take that into a shoulder stretch. You can stay kneeling or standing, up to you. Bring one arm across your body, pull that shoulder in, drop the shoulder down and really pull across to lengthen off the shoulders. So, although that was a chest focused workout, there's gonna be a lot of other muscle groups working as well. With all that pressing, switch arm, with all that pressing, the anterior deltoids, all across the shoulders and the triceps, are gonna be working hard as well. So expect results and muscle building in all of those areas as well as the chest. And this workout is gonna be as hard or as easy as you put in. And, uh, and of course, based on the weight that you choose. So if you found that too easy, then to so even get a heavier dumbbell or really focus on improving the, um, come to triceps improving the range of motion or the time under tension and pulsing in the exercise maybe. And if it was too heavy and too hard, then keep working at it and you'll build up strength with consistency. Reach those fingers down your back, lengthen the triceps. Okay, and last 30 seconds in the other arm. Stay up nice and tall, lengthen through the spine. So hopefully you enjoyed this workout, and if you are someone who just has access to one dumbbell or likes working out with just one dumbbell, then make sure you check out my other workouts with one dumbbell, because I'll do a little mini series for you. Okay, shake it off, workout and stretch complete. So if you are new to my channel, then make sure you click subscribe. It's been a pleasure working out with you. And if you enjoyed this workout, then give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.